What's up everyone, it's Adrienne Finch. Welcome back to my channel. I'm in a new apartment. I figured out how to do winged eyeliner. Things are going fine. In today's video, I am doing an updated what's on my iPhone video. That means a new, refreshed, cleaned out, decluttered, organized iPhone. It was just time, okay? It was time. I still have my same phone, the iPhone 12 Pro Max. Be sure to check out flexyourweird.com and snag your phone case. More coming soon. All right, so there's definitely a lot of decluttering I need to do on my phone. I need to go through my camera roll. It is absolutely atrocious right now. I need to delete stuff. I need to go through my text. I also really need to do my quarterly purge of apps that I don't use. I'm not gonna do all the decluttering in this video because it's gonna take a super long time. So I'm gonna go through my camera roll on my own later, but but I will link a couple of videos down below that can really help you guys with decluttering and kind of creating a system for that. So you can check those out if you're interested in decluttering your phone. All right, so without further ado, let's get into it. So here is my brand new wallpaper. I actually made this myself on Procreate. Let me know if you guys ever want any tutorials on that. I don't know how many of you have iPads, but I did make this myself. I wanted to think of an inspiring quote about kind of like income, money, success, wealth. It isn't too like, money driven and gross. Like I didn't actually want to say money. So I just said success is on its way. I just feel like 2022 is definitely the year that I want to embrace income and passive income and create new revenue streams and just really be successful. So I made this on Procreate and I think it's super cute. So here is my new layout. When deciding what I wanted to do, the first two things that came to mind were practical and minimal. I actually want it to function the best way that it can for my day-to-day -day life. And I also want to keep it pretty clutter free. I've noticed like last year I started getting really stressed out with clutter in my apartment, clutter on my phone, and just it really affected my mental health. So today I just decided to keep it pretty simple and pretty functional. So my background is just this plain colored kind of teal greenish blue. I knew that I wanted a photo widget of Nick and I. I didn't know what picture yet. So I went and chose a photo and then what I did is I dragged this photo onto Procreate on my iPad and then actually just pulled a color from the photo that I liked. So this is how I ended up doing it. The two widgets at the top, the first one is Pinterest. And as you guys know, Pinterest has some awesome widgets. I decided to have this be a rotating photo that comes from actually one of my boards. It comes from my new apartment home board. So these are all things that I have actually pinned. I just find it really inspiring and calming. And then on the right from Widget Smith, I just created this little custom like photo widget and I just think it's super cute. The next widget down is a medium sized widget smith widget <laughs> if i don't have my calendar as a widget on my home screen i sometimes just like forget to check it so i just customized one that i thought was really cute and i've shown how to do that in several other types of videos but it's just a widget smith widget and then if i actually need to click into my calendar i'll just go like that but I thought that was really cute. And then in terms of the apps that are on my first page, these are only the ones that I actually click on every single day. And a couple of them have changed. So as always, I have this daily folder. This one has not really changed besides, instead of using Safari as my browser, I'm using Opera. Opera is just a lot safer and more private of a browser than Safari. I actually did a brand deal with them like a few months ago and learned that Safari and Chrome are not very safe, um, but anyway, do what you want with that information. So these are all of the apps that I pretty much use like on the regular, these have not changed. What I did change is I ended up putting my social media that I use the most into a folder rather than just having it out. I find myself clicking on it just like with no purpose so much of the time just cause it's right there. So I wanna be a little bit more intentional about clicking into it when I need to. So I just have TikTok, YouTube and Instagram. I obviously have other social media on the second page but I really don't go on it very much. So these are the three that I'm pretty much on and posting on regularly. At the top, I have Aura. That is my sleep tracking ring. I've had it for a little while. It's really cool. I have not been sleeping well lately. Four hours and 36 minutes. That's just embarrassing. Let's not talk about that. Basecamp, my gym as always. The next addition that wasn't there before is the QuickBooks app. So this is actually my accounting software. I need to go in and sort my transactions pretty much weekly. I just made sure to add QuickBooks to my homepage so that it kind of reminds me to sort them because I'm notorious for getting very, very behind on stuff like that. And then at the end of the year, just being like, well, what was even the point because now I have to go through all of them. So I hope that having this on the front page will kind of remind me to just go in there, you know, once a day or once a week and sort those puppies. <laughs> so then I have my Spotify 
And my favorite podcast right now is Armchair Expert with Dak Shepard. I'm absolutely obsessed with it. I was supposed to go to their New Year's Eve show, but it got postponed. Can't wait. Fourth Wall is the other new addition to my home screen. And that is actually the company that I'm making my phone cases and merch through. So what's really awesome about Fourth Wall on my side is that I can see who has purchased, how many people have purchased. So when you buy a phone case on my website, flexyourweird.com, it allows you to send me a little personal message if you want to. And so then that shows up for me right here, which I think is just so awesome. And so I get to read your guys' words and then I get to send you a personal thank you video back. So this will be really cool to kind of track my orders and send you guys thank yous and just see what's the most popular and all of that. So I have that on the first page right there. And then next I have the books app. I have definitely made it a goal to read more books in 2022. I just feel like I used to read a lot more and I haven't in a really long time. It's so, so good for your brain. It's good to get off of screens and consume entertainment and not knowledge other ways. So I have the books app. They've done a lot of updates to this app. I know some people like to use Goodreads or other type of reading apps, but right now I actually like this one the most. It's the most intuitive. At the bottom, I created a goal to read 20 books this year. So basically every time I finish a book, I will just click on it to kind of track that I finished it. Some of them are physical that I own and then some of them will be like eBooks that I can read literally on my phone or on my iPad. So that's been really cool to have. And then the bottom row of course is just phone, Gmail and text. So yeah, I really, really love how clean and simple this page is. It's nothing, you know, absolutely crazy, but I love it. If we move on to the second page, this one actually hasn't changed at all. I just have a Pinterest widget again here, except this one, instead of being a board that I have, I actually just put an interest. I set it to just rotate through quotes. So Pinterest will find like quotes and cute little like graphics. This is probably the most boring one it's ever been. I promise they're usually really, really cool. I get a lot of really cool ones on the daily. So it rotates once an hour and I just love it. It's really cute. So then these ones haven't changed below is like my other social media. These are work apps that I have to use. Instagram and YouTube planning. You guys have seen these a thousand times. I will say the one new one actually is Milkshake. So that is what I use for my bio link on Instagram. So instead of just being able to have like one link, I get to sort of have this little page with a photo and then all of the links right here. And while we're at it, let me just show you my merch store really quick. So it's called flexyourweird.com. And here are the products that I have right now, the phone case and then a hat. And I'm gonna have tons more phone cases coming soon. Soon I'll be able to do like a phone case collection video of just my cases, which is so exciting. I feel like this has been a long time coming. I'm so excited. It's so fitting for this YouTube channel. So anyway, that is what the website looks like. Here I have my Instagram editing apps. Really mostly what I use is Lightroom, but I also, Vita is a really good one for video. Color Tone is a really good one for photos too. I honestly use Color Tone and Lightroom the most. And then Pixart was one that I downloaded recently. This is what I use for a lot of my merch photos because they just have like some cool effect. I think it's a paid one. I actually kind of forget. Wait, how do I find my own? But there are so many different things you can do on there. So that has been pretty fun. Then I have my shopping app. I try to not spend any time in there, but Amazon always comes in handy for all those little things that I need, which is really nice. I've got my money apps. Um, besides QuickBooks, these are just all the other kind of like banking apps that I use and all the banks that I use. Capital, I've said this before, is my favorite, favorite app for saving money. You can basically set these rules and just completely forget about it and it'll pull money from your account, keep it safely in Capital, and then you know you can make your way towards a goal, whatever that goal is, whether it's buying a concert ticket or saving for a house or anything like that. And then I've got my food apps and yeah. <laughs> and then the final page is literally just what was left over from the second page. So I've got travel, which I unfortunately haven't used very much recently. I have this selling folder because when I moved, I had a ton of stuff that I needed to sell. I still have a box in the other room of like clothes and shoes that I want to sell. I just need to take pictures in them and actually post them. So these are the best, I guess, selling apps. Offer up is amazing for furniture. I've pretty much had everything that I've ever sold just bought instantly, which is super nice. This is games and also kind of like random stuff. The app for the laundry at our building is in here as well as like CoStar, which is like some horoscope stuff. I'm not a big like phone game gal, but block puzzle is so addicting. I cannot even explain. You literally just like push the blocks around and that's it. <laughs> So yeah, that is uh, literally all that's on my phone. There's not a whole lot going on. I'm just very excited to have kind of a fresh look and keeping it minimal feels really good. So I'm really happy. And of course my phone case, very happy about that. 
So now I'm just gonna go all the way over to my app library and kind of click on each of these categories and try to delete the ones that I don't use in the social category. See, it's tough to say, cause it's like, I'm not out of storage. So part of me is like, oh, should I just keep some of these on here? But you know, the worst is like that one time that you use it, having to re-download it and figure out like your login. So I'm kind of, I'm kind of hesitant to delete any of these, but I literally don't use Clubhouse. I don't use Bunch. Magma is like a really cool, like digital blogging kind of tool. Um, I've never used it. I just thought it would be really cool. So I'm gonna actually leave those for now. Creativity, holy crap. <laughs> I don't even know what half these are anymore. Cameo, I literally don't use, but again, what if I have to download it randomly? I have a lot of editing apps that I quite literally do not use. Okay, Free Prints is the most random app that literally will send you free photo prints. I don't even know how they make money, but I've done it several times and they totally do it and it's awesome, so that's cool. I guess these are all kind of things that I would use. The only ones that I haven't used in a really long time are film, clarity. Oh man, this is harder than I thought, you guys. Maybe I'm not gonna get rid of them. This one I can get rid of. That was for voice speech therapy. Tab has been very, very glitchy. I'm just gonna delete it. Um, all of these ones I pre What is magnifier? Oh shh, okay. Whoa, interesting. Okay, well, I'll leave that. Didn't even know that existed, but I'll leave it. Productivity, oh, let's go. Do, have never used, delete. All of those I actually use. Maybe I've done this recently. Hmm. All right, just kidding. I feel like I've gone through them recently because pretty much all of those I was like, nah, I can keep these. So never mind. But that concludes today's video. I'm sorry if the lighting got kind of weird. My battery died halfway through, so it's about to get dark up in here. But thank you so much for watching. I will be back every Friday with a new video. That's the plan at least. I'm definitely gonna do one a week. So Friday and Saturday will be like my upload days and I have some fun stuff coming. But please, as always, leave me some video suggestions down below. And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.